Hey my love, so today I have a Halloween inspired get ready with me and I'm going to get started with my Kat Von D Beauty Hydrating Primer and just applying that all over my face. My skin's been dry lately and then I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm using this peachy shade right here for my under eye um, area for my dark circles. And as you can see it just completely erases my dark under eyes. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation and applying that all over my face with a beauty blender. Next, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes but I'm using a little bit extra today for my under eye area just in case I have any fallout with my eyeshadow. Then I am going to set the rest of my face with that same powder but not using as much. Now I'm going with the Kat Von D Monarch Palette with Entomology and just kind of setting my eye area using this as a base. Now I'm going in with my Benefit Cosmetics Cabral 3D Gel Fiber Fibers, sorry. <laughs> Taking my Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Gel and just kind of cleaning, cleaning, sorry I cannot speak today, cleaning up these lines. To darken it a little bit more, I'm going to take my Benefit Cosmetics Browsings Kit and I'm using the gel portion and just kind of blending in my real eyebrows with my microbladed and um, the other Benefit Cosmetics Gel. Then I'm going to set all of this with the powder portion. Going back in with the Monarch palette, I am taking the color Vanish and this is a taupey brown shade. And I'm using that as one of my transition shades. Taking Wrath, which is like an orange color, which I really, really love. Perfect for Halloween time and fall. I'm starting at the outer corner and then just bringing that into the inner corner. Then I'm coming in with Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in Orange Crush. And I'm using that on the inner corner and meeting it with the harvest shade that I put on the outer corner. This is just going to intensify harvest a little bit. So going back in harvest, I'm sorry, <laughs> going back in with wrath, I'm applying that on top of orange crush and that's just going to intensify it a little bit more. Going in with Papilio, I am just applying that on the outer corner of my eyes just to kind of darken and just have a little bit more dimension than I do right now. I'm taking Papilio and applying that underneath my under eye area. I am then taking Wrath and applying it underneath as well, but intensifying it a little bit more. Then taking Marc Jacobs Highliner Orange Crush and applying that on my waterline. Now I'm just wiping off any excess powder that I had underneath there for the fallout. Taking NYX Cosmetics 
vinyl liquid liner, I'm going to create a semi-dramatic wing. And I apologize for the change in lighting. It's just I was doing natural light and it got dark by the time I got to this portion. So, I mean, I still haven't figured out lighting. I suck at it, as you can tell. So everything kind of looks washed out now. But it is what it is. And this is just get ready with me. So it's okay. But moving on, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and applying that on my cheekbones, around my forehead, and just kind of giving me a little bit more color since I look pretty pale right now. Now the blush I'll be using is Lola and this one is from Frankie Rose Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite blushes to use. Now I'm going to be taking the color Fluth by MAC Cosmetics and using that as my inner corner highlight. This one is currently my favorite highlight to use even though it's an eyeshadow. It has multi-purposes. I'll also be applying that on my cheekbones. For lashes, I'm using my Vegas Nate Glamour Lashes. Then I'm going in with my Frankie Rose Volumizing Mascara and applying that on my lower lashes. For lips, I'm going with my Kat Von D Everlasting Liner, and this is in the shade Crucifix, and this is just a really deep chocolate. I'm taking Black Moon Cosmetics Harvest Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to be applying that over Crucifix and I think this just gives a nice ombre effect. Moving on to hair, I had actually filmed this hair tutorial and posted it on Sunday. So if it looks familiar, that's because this is from that hair tutorial. I filmed both of them the same day, but um, here I have it a little bit more uh, fast forward. So what I did was take my three quarter inch curling iron and I'm only curling about halfway to three quarter inches up way, not going all the way to the root. And you don't have to curl any particular way just because I'm going to be putting most of this up in the scarf and we just want our curls to show. Now after curling this front portion, all I'm going to do is place it in a little barrel and clip it. I will be getting back to this later. And what I'm doing here is running my fingers through these curls and then fluffing them up with my fingers. And this is just going to make them look pretty big and poofy and semi-messy because I want them to look a little bit messy. Now I'm taking the sides and then I'm going to go to the back but I'm pinning them with bobby pins. If your hair is much longer or heavier than mine, use as many as you need to. Then I am using my fingers to fluff them up even more. Now taking down this little barrel right here, I am taking my Paul Mitchell teasing comb and just teasing these sections. 
and combing them, making sure everything is smooth and clean. I'm going to take my Chi hairspray and just set that. Now I'm just going to take a bobby pin and pin this hair right here just because it's a little bit too heavy and I don't want it to drag my little wave down. I'm taking this scarf that I believe I got on eBay, but they have a ton of these on eBay. And I'm going to place that in the back and just tie a little knot, actually a double knot. And here's both the hair and makeup together. I know I have a lot of orange going on, but hey, it's almost Halloween time, so who cares? Moving on to outfit, I have my amazing, huge <laughs> spider earrings, and these are from Honey Bee Gold. I just love how dramatic and crazy they look. Then I paired it with my Vixen by Michelin Pit Bad Girl crop top. This is in orange and black. They also have pink and white and black and white. But I had to get this one because it's Halloween themed. I then paired the crop top with these Pinup Girl Clothing Deadly Dame Capri pants in black. They have pink, blue, and actually a few other shades, but black is my favorite. I just love the way they hug your curves and they cinch your waist in. And for shoes, I am using these Pleaser Slip-On Mules. These are really cute. They were only like $38 at Unique Vintage. But that's the look for today. I hope you all enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. And I love you dolls. Bye.